Hi, welcome to the Smarter Conversation. Today we're coming to you from Loyola and Veterans, which is going to be the entrance and exit of the new airport for New Orleans when it gets completed. Right now it's August 28th, 2019. As you can see behind me, the contractor has installed the traffic light entering the airport and he's in the process of putting up the traffic light leaving the airport. However, we saw reported in the media that this road was complete. Now why we've had that lack of transparency, we're not certain. At this intersection, there's a lot of pedestrian traffic. As it turns out, a lot of residents in Veterans Heights, which is on the south side of Veterans, do not have cars. And they often walk to the stores, which we see Family Dollar on one side, the church, which is just past there, or they go to the gym back and forth. How are we gonna accommodate the people that need to cross Veterans? So far, the airport staff has not presented to the Aviation Board, the City Council, or the City Council Transportation Committee on how we're gonna handle the crosswalk situation here. Are they gonna just omit that because it really doesn't make sense to try to put a crosswalk with 30,000 cars a day going into an airport. Plus we have the flyover that still has to be built, meaning there'll be a construction zone next to this road right now at Aberdeen. Another issue of concern to me is we put a wall through this neighborhood. Walls in a neighborhood are disastrous. We think of Treme with the Claiborne overpass. Why did not the city of New Orleans concern themselves with these residents before they put this airport road in? So far there's been a lack of transparency with the airport staff advising the city council or the City Council Transportation Committee on how this is going to work. At the New Orleans City Council Committee for Transportation and Airport, Chairman Christian Palmer had this to say. There was a, a very robust conversation about budget and where they are with the budget and staying within the budget. Uh, I thought it was very interesting that the flyover was not part of the budget and even when the original budget was created for the new airport, it was not included within that budget. On Loyola Boulevard, there are five lanes going towards the airport. Two of those lanes turn east towards Williams. One lane turns west. Two lanes will cross over veterans, with both of them being able to go in the airport. However, one also has to serve Veterans Heights subdivision, meaning it's a mixed-use lane. Likewise, we need to know about the environmental impacts of the project. It seems that the airport road will add 17 million vehicle miles a year by moving it further out, which equates to about 40,000 metric tons of CO2. The airport is not being built to lead standards. Why was the environment issues ignored during the construction of this project? What about the financing? Are we going to look at ticket prices going up to pay for the cost and the debt on this facility? This project was originally quoted at 600 million. We're now at 1.3 billion when we add, add things like the flyover or the parking garage or the amount of effort it's going to take to redo the taxiways to accommodate a northern terminal. In addition to the 25 million needed to modify the taxiways to accommodate the north terminal, passengers will have to add seven minutes per flight as the extra delays to get in and out of the north terminal. Once they get in and out, they have to then take a shuttle bus to the rent-a-car facility, of which 300 million was spent only a few years ago. Employee parking will also stay on the south side. And with only 5,000 parking places on the north side, travel will often find the parking lots full and they'll have to provide enough time to drive to the south side to park, take a shuttle bus back to the north side to make their flight. The infrastructure needed to support an airport was not in the budget when they moved the terminal to the north side. So either they're going to have to come back for more money or New Orleans will have to figure out how to live with these inconveniences of an infrastructure on the south side to support aircraft operations on the north side. There's so much extra cost that were not told to the public before this happened. We're still not certain as to how it's going to be paid for. In other words, who is going to pay for this billion dollar facility? And to build a flyover, which is $150 million just to go east into New Orleans, and maybe another $150 million to go west to Baton Rouge, we're using what is called Garvey Bonds. Garvey Bonds are a program with the federal government in which they advance estate money and then withhold 10% of that money per year till it's repaid. Hence, money that would be used to other projects in the state of Louisiana, such as expanding Interstate 49, will not be available until this Garvey bond program has been repaid. Another concern is how this flyover is going to impact this community. Behind me is a hotel called the Red Roof Inn, which is going to come down. They received no notification during this until about two months ago. In front of me is actually a medical facility. That looks like that'll come down to accommodate this flyover that has to be built, which has been budgeted for $120 million. That only takes care of going eastbound into New Orleans. It will probably be another $120 million to build a flyover going westbound, should that later be decided as a necessity. So right now, there's just a great public outcry for information on this project. How many residents are going to be relocated? How many businesses are going to be gone? What is the full impact to this neighborhood when you put a wall in and relocate so many businesses and so many residents from it? We've done numerous interviews on TV and radio about the airport and our questions. Please take a look at the other videos on the Smarter Conversation and give us your input as to what you see are the concerns that need to be addressed or the transparency you'd like to see in this project. Thank you.